Hello everyone, hey it's your favorite Cento Tech Jedi Lisa here and in this video we're going to talk about setting up your Google Classroom integration within your Cento portal. So let's go ahead and let's jump right into it. So within your portal you'll want to start in the admin center so you go to the gear up here and you're going to go into the admin center and you want to go into manage users area. Now from here you want to uh, have your users imported. If you import your users after you set up the sync you will have to wait for an automatic sync to happen or for a manual sync to be able to occur before that user's information will be synced from your Google Admin Console into the Senso portal. And that is right here in the data sync area. So you want to make sure in your manage user uh, you have data sync enabled. This is just for Google Classroom integration or when you are importing users or creating users you also make sure to check that box for the data sync. So once you have that done you will go down here to the data sync area and you will select Google Classroom. Now the first thing you want to do is the API setup. Now you, we have made it very handy for you to go right here, click on this link, and it's going to take you into your Google Admin Console. You will need to log on to that console with an administrative account. Once there, you will it will take you into security, API controls, and domain-wide delegation, and then you will copy the client ID, ID from the Senso portal right here over where it says client ID, and all three of those API scopes, you will copy and paste them in all at the same time and then click authorize. Once you have done that um, you will come back here and then you can go ahead and sync your domain. So you'll click the plus sign, you'll select your domain from the pull down list, you will put in your administrator email. Now this is the administrator email for Google Admin Console. This is what you're going to put right there. Go ahead and click enabled and then click confirm. It will take up to 30 minutes for you to get a successful sync so just be patient with that. Now you can instigate a manual sync after that but you can only do a manual sync within two hours of an automatic sync um, or every six hours after a manual sync has been done so just keep that in mind now for the automatic sync it happens once in the morning and once in the evening automatically so there's nothing for you to have to do that's going to go ahead and look at your Google Admin Console and pull that information on over for you so let's go ahead and let's log out and log in as a teacher user we're going to use single sign-on with Google and we're going to go ahead and look at what that integration looks like with Google classrooms in the portal there they are right there so these have synced over now I created these classrooms with this email address put the users in there they can either join the class with a code or accept the email and once they are there they will sort themselves how I have labeled them in the Google classroom um, on my side and then now I can see them in the portal all right guys well that is what you need to know for Google classroom integration and I'll see you in the next one bye